What if regeneration of land and sea at significant scale is capable of cooling the planet? For instance, water vapor accounts for 60 to 70% of greenhouse heating effect, while CO2 only accounts for 25 and seems like a massive neglected lever. Just to be clear, I'm not saying we should ignore CO2 and all other emissions and we shouldn't reduce them as fast as possible. But there's a part of climate science which is focused on land use change and is severely neglected. Why, you might ask? No, I don't think it's a huge conspiracy theory with a lot of secret meetings in castles, etc. I guess it's simply because it was much simpler to focus only on carbon emissions. Water vapor and its interactions with land use are very difficult to measure and it seems like it's sort of left out. There's no better place to start than agriculture and farmland, which covers an immense area. Some studies calculated that agriculture uses over 50% of the global vegetated land and most of it, as we've seen before, is degraded or severely degraded, which means there's a lot of potential to grow more life. 